They need Kamala Harris to be cool. They're trying to make her a champion for Gen Z. Listen to see it. This is Jake Tapper and the crew on CNN. Um, they're commenting about a story where Kamala Harris has kind of taken over a, a popular TikTok trend featuring Charlie XCX. Let me, here's Jake Tapper. Oh, by the way, he made a little verbal gaffe and blunder when he started this off. I, I, for the record, I was tipped off about this, what I'm about to share with our voters, uh, our viewers rather. He said, I was tipped off by our voters. I mean, my our viewers rather uh, as to what happened here and, he, and that's that that's the big issue is that he accidentally called the viewers voters but I but there's even more I, I for the record I was tipped off about this what I'm about to share with our voters uh, our viewers rather uh, by my 16 year old who truly daughter, is an who is an actual right, member of, right. of Gen C Kamala Harris appears to be leaning into this this the singer Charlie XCX uh, tweeted last night Kamala is brat. Uh, and this is in reference to her album. It's called Brat. Kamala has branded her Kamala HQ Twitter page with the same aesthetic of the album. That's another Gen Z word, aesthetic. Uh, it's even becoming a trend on TikTok. I would argue that aesthetic is not just a Gen Z word. I know a lot of people that use uh, the word aesthetic, but she is. She's she's glomming on to anything she can find, anything at all that she can find that she thinks will help her, anything at all that she thinks will help her get that younger vote because she doesn't believe that Donald Trump can win the younger vote. Well, she clearly wasn't at the RNC. All we saw were Gen Zers and and uh, and in, uh, what do you um, influencers and TikTokers, and we had. I mean, we interviewed a ton of them. We had Brylan Hollyhand who decided to contact the RNC. And say, and say, hey, look, we need some outreach to the Gen Z community. And there were like 290 million pieces of individual content on TikTok from the RNC as a result. It was really... It was really phenomenal. Um, and so Kamala Harris is worried. She's she's not doing this because she's cool. She's doing this because she needs all the help she can get. She's the single most unpopular vice president in history. Her laugh just makes people, it just makes people cringe. <laughs> I'm gonna be playing that. I'm gonna be playing. I I turned the volume down because yesterday it blew. I may need to I may need to chill on that uh, a little bit more today. But that and now she realized they're like, look, who's the most susceptible group? Joe Biden has lost everybody. Joe Biden lost black voters, Latino voters. He lost those suburban soccer moms because of the way that gas prices are skyrocketing and uh, and criminals have been infiltrating the suburbs. They can't go to the Louis Vuitton store anymore because it's not safe. The Louis Vuitton store is getting ravaged because in a lot of communities, if you steal a Louis Vuitton bag, you don't. Even even go to jail. So guess what? People are coming in and they're stealing Louis Vuitton bags. So the, the suburban soccer moms are all gone. And Gen Z realizes, thanks to thanks to cool people like Jake and Logan Paul, who are buddy-buddy with Donald Trump, thanks to uh, Amber Rose, who's going to be chilling with Candace Owens, I hear later this week, they are now, Gen Z is now MAGA. <laughs> which is the worst possible thing that uh, the Democrats could, could hope for. And Joe Biden is the reason. Joe Biden is the reason why that happened. So now CNN is 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 doing an investigative report on how by using the term brat and by linking up with Charlie XCS, the Kamala Harris for President campaign hopes to turn that around. I am supposed to say that's brat. And for those who don't are not in the know the way I am, that is a cool thing. Mm. Uh, it has a color. Chartreuse is the color and Kamala Harris has adopted that for whatever social media page that is. Whatever social media page that is. She doesn't even know what social media page it is. She goes, she's adopted this chartreuse color for uh, whatever social media page I'm looking at. How can you How can you be a reporter, a social media reporter, talking about a social media trend when you don't even know what social media page you're looking at? Is that an is that an X page? What is that? Is that is that is that LinkedIn? I don't even know. Whatever page that is, Kamala Harris is out there, and she is uh, she's she's going whole hog into this brat thing. And the char chartreuse is really kind of it's really kind of. My wife describes it as puke green, which I agree with. It's definitely not the most attractive color, but it's the color that Charlie XCX adopted for her album. And Kamala Harris, trying to ride the coattails of Charlie XCX, is doing the same thing. Taylor Swift, by the way, I guess wasn't available. <laughs> I guess they reached out to Taylor and they were like, hey, can you help out the Biden-Harris campaign? Or the, I'm sorry, the Harris for president campaign? By the way, I got to take this hat off because it's making me dumber um, every minute I, I wear it. Can you help out the Harris for president campaign, Taylor? Can you please, Tay-Tay? Because we really, really need some help. 
And Taylor was like, look, I, you know what? I threw all my weight behind Biden. I baked the cookies. I'm just, I'm not into you people anymore. Uh, why don't you call Charlie XCX? So Charlie XCX said, all right, fine, whatever. You can, you can jump on it. And um, the interesting thing is that CNN had to do some digging around to actually figure out what Kamala is brat actually means. Listen to this. Okay, here we go. Charlie XCX, who I do know, quote, brat. You're just that girl who is a little messy and likes to party and maybe says some dumb things sometimes, end quote. So that is the definition of brat. That is the definition. <laughs> that is the definition that Charlie XCX gives to brat. Listen to it one more time. You're just that girl who is a little messy and likes to party and maybe says some dumb things sometimes. Is that a ringing endorsement? Is that a ringing endorsement? You're a girl who's kind of messy and likes to party and maybe says some dumb things some of the time? Is that how you really want your presidential candidate portrayed to the younger generation of voters? You think you just fell out of a coconut tree? <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's true. But is that really? <laughs> okay, it's true. But is that really what you want people to be thinking? Do you really want people thinking that you're, what was it? You're just that girl who is a little messy and likes to party and maybe says some dumb things sometimes. I mean, that is, again, an accurate description, but not the thing you think that a lot of people would want Kamala Harris to be defined by early in her career or early in her campaign. Yet that's, you know what, that seems, they're going to roll with it. They're going to run with it. They're going to they're gonna make sure that everybody knows that Kamala Harris is cool, that she loves Gen Z. Oh, except let's not forget that Kamala Harris, while she loves Gen Z and while she's sucking up to Gen Z and while Kamala Harris is trying to get Gen Z to uh, support her campaign, let's not forget that she actually doesn't really have a lot of respect for Gen Z. What else do we know about this population, 18 through 24? They are stupid. <laughs> That is why we put them in dormitories and they have a resident assistant. They make really bad decisions. Kamala Harris uh, said that Gen Z is stupid, that we put them in dormitories and give them a resident assistant because they make really bad decisions. And now she's out there actively campaigning to get them to make another bad decision. And that is voting for Kamala Harris.